Hello and welcome to rchacker.com. Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, demonstrate some test code which I wrote for the KK2 multi-controller which I've written using the Arduino IDE and then uploaded to the KK2 with the Arduino IDE. It does involve a little bit of hacking of the um, Arduino IDE to get it to work but I'll explain that in a later video. For now I'm just going to demonstrate the test program and how it works on the um, KK2 here. Okay, so as we can see, we've got the we've still got the KK2 firmware on here. So I'm just going to with my Arduino IDE start the upload process. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Now this is my um, introduction screen. It's basically a bitmap graphic which is converted into code and then stored in the M M MCU and then displayed on the uh, screen there. It's similar code to what's used in the Open Arrow project. Okay, so we'll press any key. First test is the buttons test. Now, to make this work you need to activate the internal pull-ups on the uh, MCU to make this work because they're actually a floating output and then when you press them they get pulled to ground okay so you just google that in the Arduino reference I'll show you that in the code explanation moving on we've got the digital out you can see it there I've just written what the code actually is and when it gets to 13 there you go you can see the LED comes on it's actually if anyone familiar with Arduino will know that uh, number 13 is the LED on the Arduino board and I've configured that to be the same in this case. Now also you'll see this, uh, let me find my pointer, you'll see I've hooked something up here and that is, that is an LED, I've just hooked that up there. So those digital writes are just going through sequentially on all the um, output pins there. There we go, so that one's on pin 6 okay so all those whoops I shorted something out there what did I do I think my computer went to sleep alright so we'll just start again there so all these are uh, all these pins here are accessible in the Arduino code in addition you can um, use the buzzer pins up the top here, but I'm not demoing that this time. Okay, moving on. This is just a screen to demonstrate the fonts and um, how they look on the screen. You've got three sizes of fonts. The larger, larger size, the 12 by 24 font, is only numbers. Moving on, this is just testing the set brightness function of the um, LCD driver. You know, if you write your code and you can't see anything, you probably need to uh, set the brightness. Moving on. Now, this is the test clock function. Basically, I'm pulsing the LED every second, and then I'll hold it up against the watch just to make sure that the um, all the clock settings are correct and the Arduino code knows that it's actually a 20 megahertz clock rather than the standard 16 or 8 megahertz clock. So if you sit there and time that and count to 60 you'll find that it's pretty much spot on. Well it's not going to be uh, digital watch accurate but it'll be accurate enough for most timing cases. Okay moving on to the next test and of course we've got the analog read. Now Basically, these are the. We've got two accelerometers here. One is, I think, one is X and Y, and one is the Z axis. And then the, um, oh, these are the gyros, and this is the accelerometer here, which does all three axes. Now, the Arduino reads them on its analog input pins. Sorry, the MCU on here reads them on the analog input pins, and you can see them moving there, just like on the demo with the on the test screen and with the uh, original KK2 firmware. I've also got the uh, battery as well which is this pin up here. Obviously there's nothing connected there but if you stuck um, 10 volts on that you'd get a value out of that. And we're back to the buttons. 
I also want to talk about the um, just the menu navigation. There's actually quite a bit of code that goes into pressing a button. You'll notice when I press the button, the I've got next being printed up there and the LED lights up. That's just I've got a bit of feedback so I know when I've pressed the button. And that doesn't move on to the next mode until you press until you release the key. Okay? Um, a lot of times if you just have a simple bit of code that says if it's down go to the next state and you press it, it might cycle through, you know, five states before you actually release the button. And you also need to do a bit of debouncing because as you press the button it actually gets bounced up and down there as well. I've got settings in the code that I can customise that. But you'd be surprised at how complex the um, just a button press can actually be. Now, once you're done playing with it, you're probably want, going to want to put the original uh, KK software back on it. So I'm just on the laptop here and I'll just start the upload. Just a note, with these uh, USB ASP programmers, the firmware a lot of people use it's either not quite right and you'll always get a serial clock error when you're uploading firmware. Either, well that's either with the Arduino IDE or the KK, uh, KK Multicopter Flash Tool. Um, and a lot of people rant and rave and say, oh it's not working, it's not working, when it actually is. Basically all it means is it's not able to set the clock speed to make the upload happen nice and fast. If you got that right, an upload would take a number of seconds. Okay, as you can see, we're back to normal, back to our original KK firmware. Of course, uh, any settings you had on there, you'll probably lose. So, I hope people find that useful. Basically, what you've got, for $30, you've got a, um, a very capable little board. You've got 14 digital outputs that are exposed with nice pins there. You've got four buttons on the base. You've got a... 128 by 64 graphical LCD and you've got your uh, gyros and accelerometers on there and an LED and an exposure for the button there so um, for $30 try doing that with an Arduino and then a, um, the extra boards to add the gyros and stuff and you'll be paying you know upwards of $60 or more so if you're interested in actually Giving this a try out yourself. I've got a couple more videos. Uh, I've got, I'm going to have a video that'll explain the source code, and of course, there'll be a short video and a document on my webpage of uh, actually hacking the Arduino IDE. And I'll probably also go through and make a video on uh, the KK2 hardware in detail. So yes, thanks for watching, and if you want more information or projects, you can visit rchacker.com. And uh, please subscribe.